Harry Lauer, episode uh, 17, part 2 of SmackDown. My name is Dave Easton, that's Joe Disney. Hi, hello, say Joe. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is Edge versus Dean Ambrose. Edge's first appearance on SmackDown since he came over in the draft. Um, okay, I can't wait And indeed, this is one of the people that you've been desperate to see. Yeah, we, we just took away the main, like the main wrestler Raw had. Indeed, former um, world, world champion on Raw, and he's now a part of our roster here on SmackDown. Um, and his first match is going to be a tough one, though, Joe. He's going to take on Dean Ambrose, who many people say are the, is the leader of the Shield. I believe he is. Yeah, but I just could take him out if the Shield isn't there to support Dean Ambrose. Indeed, and I do re know that Dean Ambrose is going to come out alone. The Shield are not going to be with him. That's great. Edge, Edge might have the advantage now. And here is Dean Ambrose of the Shield. Um be looking to get into the Elimination Chamber himself. Remember, more Elimination Chamber matches coming next week. And what about that? But in the first part, Joe, we now know um, that Jeff Hardy is in the Elimination Chamber. Yeah, the icon got, um, for better words, screwed over. Indeed. And in our main event, another place in the Elimination Chamber is going to be available. It's going to be Matt Walker versus Weird Barrett at the NWO. And Kevin Nash is the referee. That is going to be a good match. It will be one for the ages. Indeed, and look at this. Ambrose trying to get a quick win over Edge. Will Edge have the same fate as Travis Soule? Maybe he's not used to this kind of com being competitive on SmackDown. Well, Raw does have less talented wrestlers, so... Well, let's see how Edge gets on here. As I say, first match on SmackDown. So glad to have Edge over here on the SmackDown roster. So many new people coming across as well, Joe, from last week. We had Travis Ola, as we say. Um, Edge came across. Zadlan came across. Um, and Joe Harry, I think, was the last match. Yeah, Joe Harry came across as well. We got the best superstars for the best shows for the best fans. Indeed. And thank you very much for watching uh, SmackDown with us tonight, wherever you are. Um, myself and Joe Disney, completely uh, thank you for your company here this evening. As... Edge into the headlock with Dean Ambrose and as you say Joe with the shield not being here would you give the advantage to Edge? I do give the advantage to Edge. Dean Ambrose I think is nothing without his partners by ringside. You've got to remember though Joe he has been two time tag team champions uh, with Seth Rollins but uh, you may be right without the tag without the uh, backup here Edge may have the advantage. But he's getting taken down pretty easily. Dean Edge going to work here, but Dean Ambrose, if Dean Amb imagine if Dean Ambrose can get a win here tonight, Joe, what that would do for his singles career here in, on SmackDown, that would surely make okay. everyone sit up and take notice. That will be a great way to start up. Uh, Edge, again, trying to take control, and look at this, neck break, I come up, brilliantly Ooh. executed. But Ambrose seems to be in a bit of la-la land here, as he's dumped on the back of his head. Can Edge take advantage here? Goes. Edge is going for the head. Indeed, well, maybe that's a good good thing. Dean, many people say Dean Ambrose is a bit mixed up. So if he can continue to work there, maybe it would be an advantage. SmackDown is going to continue. We need to go for a quick editing break. So please do stay with us. It is Joe Disney and Dave Easton with you on SmackDown. And remember, non-stop wrestling Elimination Chamber comes your way on Sunday the 8th of September on our Twitch TV channel. It will be myself and Matt Rhodes going through the action um, from Elimination Chamber. Please do check Twitter for more information. Uh, we are back on SmackDown. Joe, what do you think so far during the break? Dean Ambrose did put a bit of a performance in on Edge. Yeah, they took it outside to a ring. I mean, outside on the ringside. That, that sounds stupid. Uh, but oh well. <laughs> well, we all make mistakes. As Dean Ambrose continues to work here on Edge, if, as we were saying before the break, if Ambrose can get a win here, and get into the like next week, get an elimination chamber match po possibly. Who knows? Could we be looking at Dean Ambrose being um, the non-stop wrestling champion come elimination chamber? Especially if the Shield gets the titles, then they'll have everything on lockdown. Indeed, and then maybe the the, the, co the corporation might have to rethink their strategy, especially as if uh, Jeff Hardy's in the elimination chamber and Kurt Angle's a European champion. Who's not to say the Shield isn't the one going after the corporation or not? The NWO. That would be a great twist. Indeed. And Only look at Edge here. What is he doing here? 
Oh no, not oh. not again! Oh. oh, not again! At least it was the other side. Well, this time. yeah, the, the, the handyman's just replaced the other side, and now what? Look what goes and happens. Edge takes the goes through. Oh, that was that. Sorry. I, I say I hope the handyman gets paid overtime. He, overtime? He's going to have Cordula or, overtime oh, here at the moment. Well, look. I think, I think this is a count out. Indeed, it does. Ambrose is not moving. Edge really going to take a count out victory here. Um. Not I think we need another stretcher. Indeed, now we are. That is 10. And Edge wins his first match. You have to say, at least it's a win. And Edge picks up the victory. I like to say it was a cheap, cheap win. Well, there you go. Damning um, result there from Joe Disney. But Edge, you have to say, though, Edge picks up the win. And we'll hopefully see next week to see what he will see if he can get into the qualifiers for the Elimination Chamber. Well, good luck to Edge, and oh, Dean Ambrose is not hurt. I just seen him walk away. Oh, well, that's always nice. Nice to see that nobody's seriously injured here. But Edge is your winner, and he picks up the victory in his opening match. As we can see, Ambrose in the background there. That's always good news. But Edge is the winner of his opening match here on SmackDown. And let's see what's going to happen here. As Adrian Phoenix, well, there you go. I don't blame Adrian Phoenix for leaving. The poor guy got screwed. He was in the Elimination Chamber until the Corporation took it away from him. I don't blame him that he's leaving. At least he couldn't afford a limo. Exactly, I was just thinking that myself. Coming up next though, how about this one Joe? Triple Threat Women's Match. The winner gets to go to be in the ladder match at the Elimination Chamber. And who doesn't like seeing women climb up ladders? Indeed. Um, and I do believe that you were... Um, sort of having a good Mundo last week about Molly Holly. Well, you know, I, I hear rumors about Mundo getting his thing all with Molly. Well, Holly got stretched out last week, uh, and nobody seemed to have heard from her since. So hopefully we will uh, best of luck to Molly Holly. Hope she gets back soon. As here comes the woman of the money club, Alicia Fox. And um, well, talk talk about the money club on Raw. They've got a tag team title shot at the Elimination Chamber. So we're talking about people getting titles. If Alicia Fox could get the women's title. There you go. I don't think it could fit around her small waist. Oh, there you go. And here is AJ Lee. Which Layla, a uh, tag team partner, was unsuccessful on Raw on Monday to get into to the ladder match. So let's see what AJ Lee can do. Uh, triple threat rules for this one. First, the lady uh, to get a pinfall or submission will indeed go into that ladder match. Uh, Paige is already in that ladder match. And I'm just trying to look at my notes. Megan got into the, um, the ladder match. And I do believe, Joe, that you are a fan of Megan, I've been told. Megan? I can't, I have my eye on Megan. Let's just say that. Well, you, you'll have Curtis Barnett to uh, be worried about because uh, remember, that's a boyfriend at this moment in time. So um, I would you've got a reputation for yourself. That's all I'm saying. Let's just say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Look, we only because we're in Vegas a few weeks ago. Look, we'll just not go any further with that. You know what you, we told you. Like Let's a, see what the um, app has to say indeed. to change the subject before AJ comes. I mean, before Curtis Barnett comes here. Yeah, indeed. A lot of people have gone for AJ Lee there uh, in the. Um, in the app as remember to no one going for Alicia Fox Alicia Fox I would say is a bit of a, a dark horse despite she could be a dark fox to say a bit of a pun there I see what you did there indeed yes kind of sort of lighten it up as you say as um continues on AJ Lee just sort of watching Alicia Fox and um Nikki Bella yeah. and you've got to think Joe Nikki Bella we haven't said much of her but she, has, she is a former um, women's champion in her own right here in non-stop wrestling. Well, she does have her sister brief for support most times. Yeah, not tonight, though. In triple threat rules, no uh, outside people are allowed here. Um, Alicia Fox going to work on AJ Lee there. Big backdrop. Um, continues on. Throwing AJ into the corner. M Nikki trying to get there before Alicia Fox. And then AJ decides to reverse that. Just as she does that, Alicia Fox then decides to hit her with a reverse DDT. 
all action. It looks like they're rotating attacks. Indeed, all action here in this women's match. A bit, a bit more exciting than the one on Raw. I don't know if you've seen that one, Joe. I may have caught a little peek on it. Well, I'm gonna say we've got it. I'm, I'm just intrigued to see what you this happened between you and Megan. But anyway, we're going to a break. Quick Edmonton break. Stay with us. SmackDown continues. It's Joe Disney and Dave Easton at ringside. Uh, Nonstop Wrestling Raw will be here Monday night, 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West on our Twitch TV channel. If you're watching on YouTube, please do try and get catch it live. It will be myself and Matt Rhodes going through the action on Monday night. As we join back in, and AJ Lee's very, well, she's got some strength picking stairs up like that. I think she's getting carried away. Well, if she can, I've got to say, not many men can actually pick them stairs up. So you've got to give AJ Lee a bit of credit there. Uh, the referee is just sort of letting this go. Remember, there's no count outs or disqualifications in triple threat matches here in non stop wrestling. So, very. Um, anything can go. They can use weapons. They can use anything they want, Joe. Hopefully, not our table. Well, yeah, not our table. Yeah, that's alright. As long as they keep away from us, we don't mind. Well, so well would you want them? They, they could actually come our yeah, way. They could actually come okay. this way if they wanted. We don't mind. I think they're on the wrong. Ladies, wrong side. <laughs> this side. This way, over here. Uh, well, they went back in the ring here. And you remember, just to let people know, the winner of this match will join uh, Paige, who's our women's champion, and Megan in the triple threat ladder match for the, the women's title at Elimination Chamber. Um, this That coming your way in 10 nights, uh, Sunday the 8th of September, on live on our Twitch TV channel. Uh, AJ Lee, big drop kick to the face of Alicia Fox. Um, and telling her to get up here. And they look both of them taunting. Taunting her. Yeah, taunting. Who's gonna hit who's gonna hit what? And there you go. And it's Nikki. Nikki with the ring my bella. Right into the face. <laughs> I know you love that you move, Joe. AJ Lee sort of taking advantage. What is Nikki doing? Nikki didn't get break it up! And AJ Lee wow. has picked up the win. This is why Nikki plays support. And <laughs> well that is a strange one. Nikki misses a chance and AJ Lee now is a part of that triple threat match. AJ collided up over here. Well, indeed. You have got to stay away from these ladies. You're going to get yourself a reputation, Joe Disney. That's all I'm saying. Congratulations to AJ Lee, though. She picks up the win and we'll see her at the Elimination Chamber. But I thought women like Disney's. Uh, well, you, well, I'm not saying anything else. Well, backstage. I can make them into a princess. Here we go again with the corporation. Jo Tim Jones was saying, Kurt, we, don't worry. He has to make a match and give him a chance. Who? He has to give who a chance? Uh oh, Zadlan? Zadlan. What? He is a monster. What? Well, he's right about that. He, Zadlan is indeed a, a monster. He says, look at for him to get a shot against you at the chamber, he has to be. He has to get past Mark Henry next. And I can't see doing that, so sit back and enjoy. Well, I wouldn't say if people have seen Zadlan before, this is going to be... He tears people to shreds. Indeed. This is coming up next. Apparently, if Zadlan wins now, he gets to face Kurt Angle for the European title at the Elimination Chamber. Well, he has to get through Mark Henry, though. The world's strongest man. Indeed. The world's, and as, we're, as I say, we're in Las Vegas. Well, your favourite city, but anyway, let's move on. As Mark Henry coming to the ring, I haven't seen much of Mark Henry um, on SmackDown. Really, I would have expect him to be a bigger force than he has been, Joe. You're right about that, but I think he's just waiting for his time to shine. Indeed, and well, tonight, could you imagine if he does the corporation's dirty work and beats Zadlan, and Kurt Angle gets off the hook and doesn't have to defend the title at the Elimination Chamber? I think Zadlan could pull a, I won't really say a surprise victory, because I expect him to win, but... And indeed, and I'm being told that the corporation have said that Zadlan does not get any entrance music, which I think is a bit um, unfortunate. Disrespectful. Yeah, well, maybe you don't want to make this um, monster any more madder than he is. And indeed, he, Zadlan... Looks to be a bit um, in a determined mood, should I say. 
If I was Mark Henry, well, if I was Mark Henry, I would fight back since he is the world's strongest man. And a lot of people going for Mark Henry in the the, the app. So there you go, uh, Henry getting a sort of uh, the support here tonight. How would you feel being um, the referee in this match against these two monsters? Indeed, could you could you even see the referee like stopping these two doing whatever they wanted? You know what I mean? Look, just look at the size difference to the referee compared to these two monsters. I see him keeping out of the way, which is a smart move. And, well, I, I think I would do that. I'm sure you would do that. But uh, I would I would be outside of the ring. Yeah, I agree. Just let them do whatever. But uh, remember, the corporation are going to have a big eye on this one. Kurt Angle, especially. Could you imagine Kurt Angle, uh, if Zadlan does pick up the win, having to face Zadlan at the Elimination Chamber? Well, uh, um, Zadlan just took down um, Mark Henry, so I've never seen anyone do it with such ease. So uh, if he faces the corporation, it would be very one-sided. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't still. I still wouldn't like to back um, against Kurt Angle. Or you know what Kurt's like. Uh, since came coming here to SmackDown, he's won the European title. I don't think, despite what he says, I don't think Kurt Angle's going to be any easy pushover. Oh, I, I forgot that he was an Olympic champion. And how could you forget the Olympic champion Kurt Angle? But you've got to say, despite him being in the corporation, Joe. It, what a two massive signings for SmackDown. We managed to get Jeff and Kurt on SmackDown away from Raw. They knew the, the better brand was here. Well, indeed. And if Jeff Hardy can somehow win the non-stop wrestling title at the Elimination Chamber, we were talking about it before, Kurt's now, Kurt has to hope that Mark Henry can do his business here and then the corporation can keep the titles. And what do you think about Hardy getting the title shot for um, a bigger... Well, the bigger title. Well, if he is in the elimination chamber. He's got to go through another five men, though. That's the, the thing. But knowing the corporation, they'll probably rig it so he comes out last. But we have to see, obviously, in ten nights what um, how hard he will get on. But I'm intrigued to see this one. Will Zadlan manage to beat Mark Henry here and get that title shot? Smackdown, oh, Smackdown. Smackdown to me. Do you want to do this one? No, you got it. I just like saying that. Okay, no problem. Okay. Nonstop Wrestling uh, NXT is going to be here Saturday night, 11 o'clock UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West. It'll be uh, the Mundo and hopefully Oliver Bisping if he hasn't gone to wall again like he had last week. Uh, we can always hope for that, though. Uh, back to the match, Joe. Um, and really, look at this. Look at Zadlan just throws Mark Henry over the top rope like he's nothing. And that's how it's been all break. Zadlan dominating the match. Indeed. And look at this. Uh, maybe Mark Henry has to do something like put Zadlan through the barriers to try and keep him down. Well, that seemed to work all night for everybody else. Indeed, we've seen a few people go through the barriers tonight. Um, hopefully, for this one, we'll, we'll actually get to see a finish inside the ring. And we know what's coming next, um, Joe. It is the NWO fighting each other. Which should be a doozy. Indeed. And look at this. Are we going to see another barrier break? Yeah, no, Mark Henry... Realizing that the count's up to six, gets back, goes back inside the ring. Zadlan no manages to sneak in the other way. Mark Henry running around, doing ring around the Rosie. Exactly, and maybe that's just going to go against him. He hasn't really got the best um, cardio here, and thrown in the barrier. Looked like he actually tripped over the steps. Not really good. Those steps have been hurting people more than wrestlers have. Indeed, look at this. I I've got a feeling that barrier is going to go through again here anytime soon. We've already had two barriers. We've got a few barriers. This handyman is doing a lot of work tonight. What is he doing? Oh my god, he's put him through again! He picked him up! He picked and He picked Mark Henry up and put him through the barrier. What I'm lost for words. Does he really want the European title that much? Mark Henry seems motionless outside. We're going to have another countdown victory here, guys, but Zadlan is going to the Elimination Chamber. My, Kurt Angle, if I was you, I would get worried. That was some strength from Zadlan. He truly is a monster. Indeed. And, well, referee, you, I don't know why you're raising your hand up. Get out there as quick as you can. Zadlan going to the Elimination Chamber. And now Kurt Angle. Well, Kurt Angle. He better watch out. I would get worried. That's all I'm saying. 
If I was Kurt Angle, I'd change my underwear right now. Indeed, I would indeed. Zadlan, well, at least, at least he's leaving. That's a good thing. Good for him. Good for us. Good for us. Wait, there, wait, Zadlan, get away. Stop coming back in the ring, Zad. Okay, Zadlan. Oh, 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 oh. So now, Dang, maybe, goodness. maybe that's a good thing. Maybe taking a pipe to his head might be a good thing. You never know. Good anyway, job, Angle. Well, there you go. I can't believe you've actually agreed with Kurt Angle. But let's move on. This is it. It's apparently we've been told now by Tim Jones in my ear. This match is extreme rules. So. Oh, that can be good for NWO. Well, here we go. So the NWO are going to fight each other for a spot. At the Elimination Chamber, Kevin Nash is your referee, the leader of the NWO, and also, Joe, he is our non-stop wrestling champion as well. Well, I don't think he's mad. I don't think he's um he can stop these two from going at it. Indeed, in the last few weeks, Joe, we've seen um, Matt Walker really just walk out on Wade Barrett after the match. What do you think about that? Well... There you go. We're going to hear this NWO music three times, aren't we? Well, here's this, this is a catchy tune. It is indeed, but Wade Barrett... What a chance for Wade Barrett he had to get into the Elimination Chamber. But you have to think... One of these men are going to get in the Elimination Chamber. The Corporation must have not been thinking about this, because if Barrett gets into the Corp... If B Barrett... Sorry, B Barrett or Matt Walker get into the Chamber, they're going to help Kevin Nash retain the title, surely. Who do you think is going to win out of this, though? I don't know. Do you think that um, Kevin Nash is going to favor one more than another? I don't know. I, I, I can't say. But if we go back and pass move on, Matt Walker, when he first came in and on a stop wrestling, was on an absolute hot streak as a singles wrestler. Um, so really, I I wouldn't like to say. Let's see what the, the, the app says. If you want Barry to win, press one. If you want Walker to win, press two. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> And let's see if Kevin Nash does call this right down the middle. This is going to be very interesting indeed. I think he's just going to let it go. Play it out. Well, he did. Look at this. Into the cover. Slow count. Didn't even count Slow one, count. did he? No. Very well, I think very I think that's a favor right there. Are we saying that he's now going to favor Weird Barrett? I think so. Let's see what happens here. Fans, looks like it's looks like Matt Walker's getting a bit of support there in the the app tonight. As Barrett in control here, the Englishman in control over Matt Walker. And this is it. We, uh, from what I heard backstage, Joe, is that Wade Barrett was not happy with Matt Walker, and he's glad that he's actually got a match here. Well, Matt Walker wasn't happy with Barry either. Which is why he walked out. Indeed, especially after what's happened the last couple of weeks with the NWO. Um, with, um, with some losing matches, especially against Ziggler and uh, Sami Zayn over the last couple of weeks as well. Z Ziggler seems to have had the, the NWO's number. A lot of people saying that they don't trust Nash in this uh, match. What, would you, what do you think about that, Joe? I think Nash will do his best, but it won't really work out. Well, let's just say, as you see, the winner of this gets that spot in the Elimination Chamber. Will join Kevin Nash and Jeff Hardy. We know the two already in the Elimination Chamber for the non-stop wrestling title. Let's see if we get... If you, if you were Kevin Nash, wouldn't you want the weaker opponent to be with you in the Elimination Chamber? I don't know. Who is the weaker opponent, though, Joe? That's the thing you've got to ask yourself. I think we need to go to the app for this. Indeed, a lot of people. I think a lot of people are just saying that they don't trust Kevin Nash. As Walker continues here, look at this. Just won't over. Just gets Barrett in the corner. You've got to say though, Joe. You've got to give Kevin Nash credit. He has. He has just let these two get on with it. Except for that slow count in the beginning. And, well, just apart from maybe he was just wanted to go a little bit further than last more than a minute probably. But maybe you're right. Maybe he wants both men just to beat each other up that badly so that even if they do get in the elimination chamber he, he, he can just easily get rid of them who knows who knows but yeah Barrett continues uh, working over Matt Walker here nice to see Kevin Nash put a referee's um, outfit on as well 
<laughs> it's always nice of him to um, to look the part. Uh, but here comes uh, Barrett to the outside. Barrett now on the outside. Remember, this is Extreme Rules, ladies and gentlemen. So they can use anything they want on the outside. Let's see what you got. Oh, you got a chair. Oh, right to the Ooh. back of Matt Walker. And again. And Nash just letting this go. And Walker though, takes it he off Barrett. He took the chair. And, he, and that, Oh, and a chair shot to the head. And again, that was looked to the knee. But, so the two shots of peace here. Barrett just... What, it looks like going to time out. What, I don't know where Walker's going. Walker, what has he got? There's a crutch. He's took a disabled fan's crutch off him. And then we've got a ladder. Oh, we've got everything going on here at the moment. All we need is wheelchair. Yeah, did look. Oh, right to the head of Matt Walker. And, well, Wade Barrett is just going to work on Matt Walker here on the outside. This is. Ooh. Kevin Nash just standing there. A little bit of a smile on his face, Joe. Oh, uh, I, I would be frustrated if I was Kevin Nash, honestly. Uh, well, Wade Barrett is just working over Matt Walker here. There's a went for a crutch shot, which Matt Walker managed to get out the way of. But then, look at the, somebody's got a someone's brought a title with them. Oh my goodness, this is going totally outside. I have good news. It's a fake title. Well, that's that, well, that's always good. Though that, I thought it was Kevin Nash. Someone had t stolen the title. I heard about you and them stealing titles, by the way. Oh, we'll not, we'll not go into that. Yeah, because, you know, the champion is right there. Indeed, you do want Kevin Nash coming over here. I hope we don't see someone go through the barrier. We've already seen three people go through the barrier tonight. We don't want another one. Well, it would be nice to see Kevin Nash interviewed by us real quick. Well, indeed. Well, let's just see what yeah. happens. Both men falling over the steps there. Both men on the outside. Oh. Kevin Nash I, looks... I thought, well, only can't count him out, can he? Because it's Extreme Rules. I just thought... I was wondering why he wasn't counting them out. You can't. It's Extreme Rules. Um, it looked like he had a look of disgust on him. Indeed, Kevin Nash really hasn't moved from that corner, you have to say. Well, we've now got a table. Wade Barrett on the outside here. Um, and a guitar? Who brings a guitar with them to the arena? I don't understand this. We have a, Are you trapped on performance we have, or a concert? We've got a lot of people, a lot of strange fans coming here to this. Bringing guitars with maybe somebody having a party afterwards. But Kevin Nash, again, just watching Matt Walker throw Wade Barrett into the steps. So, and then these two are just beating the hell, holy hell out of each other. Um, it's amazing that none of them are bloody yet. Exactly. That's very surprising. And remember, there is no blood policy here in Joe. We've got to be quiet about that. Oh, sorry. I Another good, and Matt Walker trying to hit the, the chair off the ring apron. Um, sort of, not that's not going to help, but he, I think we'd... Um, Matt Walker sort of feeling the effects of this match. It looks like he's running away. Ooh, and he just attacks him out of nowhere. And then, look at this. Barrett thrown inside. Walker hits him with a stiff elbow shot. Is it Kevin Nash really just backing into a corner, letting these two go at it. And Barrett with a big clothesline taking out Walker down. <gasps> Nash is counting. There's two. Like and he counted. And, three. and Wade Barrett is going to the elimination chamber. And you've got to say, Kevin Nash, well, he didn't really count that fast. It looks like he was pretty neutral to both parties, then. Indeed, and Wade Barrett has beaten his fellow team member and is going to the Elimination Chamber. And you've got to say, well, Barrett and Kevin Nash, the NW look like the odds-on favourites, Joe, to keep a hold of that title. They sure do. Well, hey, what's that? What a big win, Joe, for Wade Barrett. Oh, I thought it would have been nice to see if Barrett and Walker go against um, Nash real quick. Indeed, and look at this, Wade Barrett. And, oh, whoa! Oh. What, what, the, what the hell? I guess that's for being neutral. <laughs> what the hell has happened to the NWO? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to wait till next week to find this out. Barrett has turned on Nat Kevin Nash. Does this mean the end of the NWO? That is the end of Nonstop Wrestling Smackdown episode 17 part 2. Joe, say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. Well, there you go. My name is Dave Easton. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell us what you think if you have not done so already on um, 